welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you are easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, today's topic is going to be an interesting topic, I believe. And I'm going to give you some points of view of why I believe that you should not marry today's modern day black woman. And we're going to get into it. Now, let me go ahead and uh, let you know ahead of time that these clips that I'm going to use are out of fair use. And this is an educational video educating you on the dangers of marrying today's modern day black woman. Now, let's go ahead and get into it. I think you may find this interesting. I have slept with so many married women in my life. I have slept with so many married women in my life that I can't trust nobody, kid. <laughs> Did you hear that? This is a famous rapper in Houston, Texas. He said that he has slept with so many married women in his life that he cannot trust women today. <clears throat> I believe a lot of men can testify to that. A lot of men can relate to that. I done slept with many married women. I done slept with many women who was engaged to be married. I have slept with so many women who were in quote unquote loving relationships with their men. The reason why men should not be marrying these modern day women is simply because today's modern day women, majority of them ain't nothing but hoes. They ain't nothing but skanks. They ain't nothing but using ass bitches. And I'm just being honest with you. And this is my humble opinion. This is not me being disrespectful. I am not trying to promote any type of hatred. This is my point of view. And the reason for what I'm saying is, gentlemen, if you decide to marry one of these modern day black women who are completely against traditionalism, but are pro-feminism, you are doing yourself a great disservice in your life, man. Them women will drive you nuts. They will drive you crazy. And they will suck off Pookie and Ray Ray. And you could be a man who makes six figures. I'm going to show you a video in one of these clips in a minute where a man is actually telling you that he's on a date with a married woman. But let us continue because I got a lot to unpack here. I have slept with so many married women in my life. I have slept with so many married women in my life that I can't trust nobody, kid. <laughs> I don't trust no woman on earth. Me personally, you have a different situation. Like you might have a woman who went to school, y'all, you know, not in the streets. Y'all ain't never been out, you know, none of this shit. I have slept with so many of y'all wives out here. I can't trust women. That's what I'm like, Dr. Omar. That's what I'm saying. Once again, gentlemen, I'm going to tell you some stories about me. Some of y'all probably can relate to it. I had a man married wife. I had a man's wife at my house one time. Most women who are cheating like that, who are married, they like to cheat. What do I mean? It's exciting to them. I had a woman tell me she liked new dick. She got a husband. But that husband wasn't a husband, to be honest with you. She was just her provider. And she told me that too in so many words that she was with him because this sucker would take care of everything for her. She had children with this man. And now she's about to have a child right now, if I think of it. But I had her in here. She was sucking and licking and doing everything in here. Now, let me tell you something, gentlemen, to put you on game. Sometimes these men who have these cheating ass women, they can sense it, man. And they'll call and try to check up on their woman. So what had happened was she was at my crib. You know what I mean? And um, we were talking. She got on the phone. A man called. Excuse me. He called. And um, you can hear her back and forth. She putting them on speakerphone. And one of the ways to know if your wife is cheating on you, if she's arguing with you for no damn reason, He's talking about where you at like that. You're supposed to check in or something like that. He said like that. And she said, I'm with my friends right now. You always embarrassing me. You know what I mean? Why you calling me? My friends are looking at me right now. I'm trying to get away from them because they see me having a conversation with you. He's talking about, well, put me on FaceTime. Let me see you. Let me see you. See, when you have to tell a woman to put you on FaceTime right then, you need to end the relationship because you don't trust her at all right then. I'm just letting you know right now. But anyway, long story short, you know, while she was talking to him, she was pulling my thing out and sucking on it while she was talking to him, right? Now, he was demanding to put her on the FaceTime where you can see him. So this is what she did. Because I got a pretty big house and I ain't trying to brag. She went to my guest um, bathroom. Now, during the walk to get to that bathroom, she kept saying, why, 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 why you want to do this? Because she needed time to get to the bathroom. When she got to the bathroom, she put him on FaceTime. And she, he, um, he could see the curtains and stuff like that, but he don't know it's a man's house. She, it might be her friends. It might be her girlfriend's bathroom that she went to. And I'm listening to this woman. 
cussed this man out, disrespect this man, said, why the F you always trying to do something? Why don't you always trust me? Don't you, you need to trust me. I can, that's why I can't do anything because, you know, I, I can't, you know, she was just going off on him. And he said, okay, then we'll just come back to the house. We know, I mean, I'm listening to this. And then she'll come back and tell me after she done told her husband this, he never lets me have any fun. He's always on my ass about something. This is a married woman. Let's keep going. That's what happened to me. Let me keep it real with y'all. Let me keep it real with y'all. As Slim Thug, the rapper, I believe every woman goes. I don't believe that no woman don't go. Now, a regular woman who is seeing fine-ass Slim Thug after a show, and this is her opportunity to to settle down and get married. Niggas fucked a lot of dudes wives out here. That's why a lot of dudes girls got fucked. And that shit play on a nigga conscious. Like, especially when you did it numerous of times, it'll make you feel like, what makes me so special? What makes me exempt that it's not going to happen to me? That's what... Exactly. After you done mess with so many other men's wives, you, you think twice before you decide to get you one. You get what I'm saying? And also, um, some game for you gentlemen out there, if you have to tell your woman to put you, know, you on FaceTime and stuff, and um, she keep talking and talking and talking... Before she does it, she's trying to find space and opportunity to get on FaceTime so you can see her face or whatever it is so she, you won't know where she's at. That's all planned, bro. I'm just letting you know. But yeah, back to what this gentleman's saying. A lot of men do not want to um, be with women because he don't, they don't trust women. Because women are easy. Women are extremely easy right now. It's not hard to get a woman. Women take pride in being um, a woman who lives a lifestyle of pr promiscuity. They like being hoes now. They don't want to say that, but they dress like them. They walk like hoes, they talk like hoes, they rap like hoes, they'll talk to their girlfriends like hoes, they'll send you nude pictures like hoes, they'll talk to you on the phone like hoes, and it doesn't take a long period of time to get them to do that. You can get women to start talking to you and sending you nudes in the first day, hell, the first hour if she's feeling you. It don't take a lot. Women are cheap right now. You don't have to do too much for women to open up their legs and give you their womb no more. You don't have to do shit right now. So what I'm trying to say is to you gentlemen, of course there's a small percentage of women who are not like that, but for the majority, for the most part, most women are hoish now. I'm just going to give you the fact. If you're thinking about marrying a woman out here, you better make sure you get a woman with traditional values from a different culture or someone who was raised right. And also to give you some game, gentlemen. If you want to vet a woman properly, one of the main things you're going to have to do is ask her about her relationship with her father. If she tell you some shit like her daddy wasn't around, ditch that woman. If she don't have any type of male mentors, anyone in her lifestyle with anything... Any black man or any man that was in her life growing up that she did not ever want to disappoint, that she always did respect, that could actually advise her and she'll take that advice. If she don't got no man like that, leave now because that would tell you right then and then that she doesn't know how to respect the man. She don't because a single mom can't teach these. They should, but single mothers don't teach their daughters how to respect men no more. All they do is teach their daughters how to take from men, how to Sleep with them to get what you want. How to bait your hook, so to speak, to get what you want. That's all these women are teaching them. They are really they are really enforcing hypergony in their daughters. They're not teaching them how to be loved. They're not teaching them to love. They're not even teaching them how to recognize love. So if you're dealing with a woman, gentlemen, I'm telling you, find out how her relationship is with her father. If she didn't have a father and she around her grandparents, find out her relationship around her, her grandfather. Because if there's no man in her life when she was growing up, she ain't going to treat you right, bro. I'm letting you right now. I'm letting you know right now. Play on dudes conscious. Like you the handsome Janet in the building, but you fucking homeboy wife that's making $100,000 a week pushing birds and you and his wife mouth on a regular. He got the porch parked outside. You get on the train every day, but every chance you get, you knocking that pussy loose. That's what play on a nigga mental. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, not that, oh, he's scorn. He got cheated on before. I get asked by females, is why is it so hard? A woman hurt him. That's why he's scared of marriage. No, he out here fucking a lot of niggas' wives. And that's what's playing on his mental. And dudes be getting lined up, robbed, and all that shit. And the first thing they say is, homies lined that up. That was an inside. That's true. I'm known homeboy. I had a homeboy who used to do that. He used to have a bride. And they would set dudes up and rob them. The girl would go out, find a dude, a, a sucker. And he think he gonna get something and meet in a um, little motel room and the boys out there waiting for him. Took everything. You can't trust these women, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. His wives. And that's what's playing on his mental. And dudes be getting lined up, robbed and all that shit. And the first thing they say is, homies lined that up. That was an inside job. 
It was an inside job, all right? A nigga pissed his arm and fucked his wife. Checkmate. That's why when he got caught lacking at the crib, he thought nobody knew about. That shit came from his wife pillow talking. Dudes do not be battle testing these females. Oh, she pretty. She treat me like a king. I'm a wife. Her. No, you got a battle tester. Your little man that ain't getting no money. Sam matter. Your man from Queens, Brooklyn. He got the Porsche. He got the Benz. That's what she into. Send her anything that you think she attracted to. Send it at her. See if she passed the test. See if she turned it down before you even could see it on. I've done that before too with a woman. Um, had a bad, bad um Japanese um lady. You know what I mean? She was about race of Japanese and white at one time. But let me tell you something, I had to test her as well. So I sent people towards her. Dudes that um that people would think would be attractive or whatnot to see if she was gonna make any plays or any moves towards that. And they're gonna report to me. Even my homeboy said, Man, what if she wanted to give me some coochie if I come at come at her and she tried to you know, I said, Go ahead, then that's not my broad. I want you to test her. If he failed the test, man, go ahead and skid on. I don't give a damn. I'll get another bra. That's how I was. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to test these women with the very things that you know that they are attracted to. If they like money, send somebody with some money. Think about the reasons why she's attracted to you. If she like your swag, then you send somebody out there with swag too just to test the woman. And if that person that you choose to test her gets to sleep with her and she fails that test, you don't save yourself years of heartache and pain and money. Let her be a hoe. A hoe want to be a hoe. Let her be that way. Test these women, man. Stop um, falling head over heels in love with these brides that you don't even know that you never even tried or tested, man. Now, let me show you a uh, clip of a man that's going to tell you that he is on a date with a married woman. And what he says are some things I can relate to because I've done mess with married women. And I know there's a lot of men who watch my TV, I mean, watch my channel, have also too. These modern day women ain't shit, bro. Let me go ahead and play it. I am currently on a date with a married woman right now. I want to tell y'all three things that I'm seeing. Number one, she's using her husband's credit card to pay for everything. I'm not spent a dime. She's paying for everything. No lie. Number two, she lied and said that she was hanging out with her homegirls, but she's really with me. Her husband has been calling her nonstop to make sure she's okay. But her homegirls have been vouching for her. Number three, she told me her husband makes six figures. I don't make half of that. The money don't mean shit right now. She only cares about getting some good deal. Don't bring that shit to her straight up. Now I want to point out the fact about some most hoes that cheat hang with hoes that cheat. All right, gentlemen, look at the type of women that your women that your woman is hanging around. It took me a while to learn that. If your woman has a bunch of hoe ass friends, she a hoe too. There's not gonna be in. A, there's no way in hell that a good, clean woman is going to surround herself with a bunch of hoes. If your um, female friend is surrounded by women who pop pills, sniff cocaine, live a riotous life, um, very promiscuous, that is what your girlfriend is. What she's doing is putting on the front for you to get you because she sees something in you. Now let me tell you something about monkey branching. We know about monkey branching, right? Now, monkey branching means, you know, as a monkey, before you go from one branch to another, you got to have one branch in your left hand to hang on to. And you got another branch that you're reaching out for with your right hand, so to speak, right? You can have two hands on both branches at the same time before you decide to let go of one and hold on to the other one. So what she's do, those branches represent men. Two branches represent two men. She's the monkey that's hanging on to the branches, which means she's the one hanging on to two men. That's the analogy that I'm going to use. So what a woman would do, she will hold on to the trick. She will hold on to the provider. She will hold on to the beta male because she needs him for something, anything. She needs something before she moves on to the next one. The next branch, the next man that she's holding on to as well, because she's still holding on to both of them. She's trying to get everything situated with that new man, trying to set it up to where she can be comfortable that if she makes that move to the new man, she's already going to land smoothly in that like a plane on an airstrip carrier. She's going to do that. You know what I mean? So she's holding on to you and holding on to the other man until something, she's waiting for something to happen with that new man. Something has got to happen before she lets you go. Before Now, when she lets you go, then she has successfully monkey branched to another man. And a lot of these hoes, man, they have friends like that. And I've seen women like that. They would spend their money's man on the side dude. And like that man said, money don't matter at that time. She just wants some good pipe. It doesn't mean that the man is not giving her pipe. It could be that she's just a greedy whore. Now just, hey, it is what it is. Let's play it. And this is why so many women get away with cheating. 
because they're dealing with men. You see, when men cheat, they're dealing with women and women generally want more, either more of his time or even to be in a relationship with him or to be the official side chick. But you see, a guy doesn't care. Just like this guy in the video, he didn't reveal her. He didn't out her. Her husband will never know because all he wants to do is have some fun with her. He doesn't want to marry her. He doesn't want that to be his woman. He's enjoying her. And for this reason, women can get away with so much more because they're dealing with men and because they're women getting access to sex as a woman. Well, we know how that goes. It's easy. Men generally have to work to get sex, but for a married man to do the same, he's got to jump through all the same hoops that men do. That's not always true because if you got a lot of money, a lot of swag and appearance of being successful, it's easy to get a woman. I'm telling you that right now. You can sleep with all kinds of women. They think that you got something going on. All you need to have is a little bit of swag, a little bit of demeanor, dress nice, smell good. That's one thing I'm going to tell you. Get you some cologne, man. That boosts up your sexual appeal like almost a thousand percent. Just smelling good, having a, yourself well groomed. I'm talking about this works on married women too. It's sad, but it's true. And like she's saying, she is kind of right in the way about one thing she said. Um, women tend to want more. Now, beta males want more. If he if he's sleeping with her, and I want a relationship now with you, babe. I've been sleeping with you, even though you got a man. Most men ain't going to, most men, just, just, excuse me. Most men are just going to be content with just knocking the dust off that twat waffle and moving on. You get what I'm saying? Women, and this happened to me, but women who have, are married, they tend to develop, some of them, develop emotions for the side diggling. I'm telling you the truth, man. I'm talking about waking up to messages and saying good morning jay you know how you been today oh your birthday coming up you know uh what you gonna do here let me uh cash out you some money enjoy your birthday or can i come through on your birthday and then they you cuddle with them and stuff because that's what they want you'll start noticing that they start to develop an emotional attachment especially if you banging the hell out of her that's what's gonna happen and she's married you'll see her start talking bad about her husband i'm telling you about some of my dirt that i've done i don't care like some fool got on my um um, comments about don't expose your life unless you want your life to be us. Man, suck my dick. It's my show. I said what I want to say on my show. I don't care. You can take whatever you want to take off my show and make a comedy out of it. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm a very transparent individual. If you ain't going to come over here and put some money on my damn show and make this show blossom and buy some of this equipment, then shut the hell up and stay off my show. It's just that simple. I say, you, know, you don't run nothing over here, brother. And if you a subscriber, bro, you can leave, man. It ain't up for discussion. What I say, I keep it real at one time, 100. I keep it real all the time, excuse me. That's for that gentleman who left that dumbass question um, on my thing. But I'm just keeping it real because I hope what I say will hope will help you to look out for the problems that you're going to face with dealing with modern day women, man. I'm telling you, it's not worth marrying some of these women now. It really isn't, man. Get out of this um, idea that women can be good. If you learn to um, expect the worst from a woman, that you won't have um, too much of a disappointment or a uh, setback with them. Because now when you start expecting the worst from these women, they will have to prove to you that they're not. If you start giving them more credit than they deserve and start thinking that woman going to be a queen to you like that, then she has all the opportunity to manipulate you now because you're not going to see it coming. But if you expect the worst for them, it helps you see what's coming. And then you can cut that shit off and nip it in the bird. But, <laughs> bud, I'm sorry. And this whole video is my humble opinion. It's my point of view. I'm not telling you to do anything, but this is how I feel. And this is not a video of hatred. This is an educational video giving you a whole lot of information about the game, about how women are. And he has to deal with a woman. This video is so hurtful to watch because you know some man is sitting somewhere waiting for his wife to get home. And here's this dude making a TikTok about it. And mm. no one's going to be the wiser. Damn. Neither situation is right. But the cheating woman has it so much easier. It's almost handed to her on a silver platter. Ain't that something? Now I'm going to show you something else about a young man who didn't want, who, who never believed in women because he saw his mother, who was married for 20 years, bring men in and out the house while she was married. So it affected him. 
It took him years to get over guy. He thought all women was whores. See, when women cheat like this, they don't understand how they're affecting their young boys. When a, even if they're not married, it affects the daughter and the boy if they see mama dealing with multiple men at a time, man. There's some young men and young women right now can tell you how many men have been in their mothers over the past six or seven months. They done seen mama with this guy. Seen mama going over here with this guy. They done seen mama in a car with this man over here. They done seen mama chilling with this man in his truck over there. They know their mama a hoe. If you're easily triggered, leave now. Let's get to the store. Never been married. I have been single since over three years now. You know, I had a vision for my wife. But I can't really picture it, right? I, I try to be open. That fear of just having this relationship go to waste because that's what happened to my parents. 20 plus years and most of it wasn't real. I remember all the things I used to see as a kid, you know, other men in the house. Yeah, like, damn, moms was out there. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? So when you out there being a hoe lady, I want you to know that you are affecting your children and future generations. Again, gentlemen, you better be safe out there when you choose a woman. Mm-hmm.